I have to say this game for me creates a very unique atmosphere. The 2011 masterpiece delivers a very good blend of crime action and what feels like some very serious detective work. I think of LA Noir and I immediately see a world that is far more organized, far more structured than the world that we live in currently today. However, while being able to say that I feel that sense of order, I also at the same time can see a more free flowing society. Entering 1940 you have christian dior's first show bread is going at the small price of 13 cents and america has witnessed the first televised world series the yankees versus the dodgers drive-in movie theaters are very popular tvs are only five to seven inches and the chevrolet Fleetmaster was probably the country's best-selling car at that time now la nor puts us in the shoes of cole phelps a detective for the los angeles police department i should say though we don't start out as a detective in the marine corps you deal with the chain of command mistakes get made but you deal with them you know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team but dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows you never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path or whether it's your partner or maybe even the watch commander so who do you trust cole i made up my mind a long time ago Detective Herschel Biggs, which is also the man narrating at the beginning of this mission, he sets the tone pretty well, giving us the feeling of uncertainty. It kind of makes you feel unsure about the people on your team and if they actually are genuinely on your side. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right, so said we have an evidence search. I don't know where I'm going. Let me pull over, get a good parking spot. 10 14 p.m. alleyway crime scene. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. Damn. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out places of here. to be. Happy hunting. Something you could quickly notice is how Phelps is more like really trying to do his job and genuinely be a good cop. While there's a lot of other people maybe that have just been doing it so long, they don't care. They want to just get their money and leave. They don't actually care about doing good for the city that they're in. And I'm also expecting to see dirty cops, which is going to be the complete opposite. What's this? Controller vibration, a chime, or a magnifying glass icon indicates Wait, objects got, nearby baby. can be examined. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Shrink says the mind is the final frontier. There's a car back here. Insta heat. All right, what do we got? Got a blood stain. Sure put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go you're gone <laughs> don't get all deep on me phelps um description blood splatter stains in recessed doorway on alleyway floor each recovered clue is sketched and cataloged ralph there's something on the rooftop how the hell did you see that reflection in the window looks like it might be our weapon i'm gonna see if i can find a way up there i don't know how to pronounce this name so i'm just gonna say jb jb was asked why did phelps become a cop and he went on to say that cole is highly educated the product of good schools and a good family who was instilled with a deep sense of duty and expectation proceeding to say that he was born to lead however his experience in the war profoundly changed him so we need to find a way up yeah buddy i know i got it smith and wesson Serial S71893. All right, check the ammo. He shot two bullets. Two rounds fired. Instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. That is weird, but you don't know. What are you thinking? You know, if you just shot somebody? We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Found clues will be added to your notebook and can be viewed. Oh, that's how you run. I'm hitting we the wrong the button. Gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, so we're going to the gun store. We got to see who bought the gun, who sold the gun. Use sure this. About this. It's 
It's not really our gig. Yeah, Ralph, calm Still down, buddy. Doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little Boy Scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? Yeah, what's up with this guy? The day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Ralph don't want to put in that extra work. He's acting like I'm the one being scary, but I'm we're the ones over here about to about to try to really solve something. This guy's chatting. Get in the goddamn car, you idiot. Where is the directions though? Turn right here. Oh, they don't do them on the map. You gotta actually ask. Take the next left. I don't like how he says it. He says it like he's mad at me, like Warner Drug Company. Keep your eyes open, Ralph. Stop just ahead. All right, there's the gun store. Gold handled doors allow you to enter. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You Model see it on there? Model 27. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Apartment residence of Errol Schroeder. Everything's so industrial. Don't tell me he lives above the, the cafe. Schroeder's apartment, 10.57 p.m. Look at all this progress we're making, thanks to Cole Phelps. Suspect's apartment. Schroeder's apartment, too. Me, personally, if I just killed somebody, I'm not leaving my name on the mailbox. LAPD, open up. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Oh, do you? Do you now? What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Damn. Just ready, punching guy? cops back in the day? Hold on. Let me lock in. That was a very bad... It's a nice, nice little apartment you got here. I'm not getting hit by Schroeder. Form a grapple attack. Oh my God. Come here. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. Look at Ralph. Lucky he caught me off guard. Ralph's a fake tough Keep guy, isn't Ralph. he? I'm going to take a look around. Yeah, Ralph. This man Ralph's just pointing his gun at him. I don't know if that's safe. Maybe they did that back in the day. Or should I look? Uh, we have a notebook. But what is this? Um, just names. Schroeder's notebook. Names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Who exactly is Floyd Phelps, Rose? We can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. So we can see Phelps kind of falls back here and he calls in the case as Ralph was pushing him to since we found the actual gun. Nonetheless, though, I think it's a great introduction to our main character and kind of just the, the overall story and what Phelps is trying to do and what he's trying to become. You dumb sons of What the Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. 
There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. Now, I got to say, I might be a little bit biased when it comes to older games in general, because I think naturally when I play a game like this, that's in these older settings, I'm automatically a little bit more drawn to them. And don't get me wrong, I could easily see this game getting overlooked. I think they took a very different approach. It's a lot more slow pace. It's not about how good you are at shooting and killing people. It's not like you're going for a high score. It's genuinely more about taking your time, really observing things and doing your best to make the best decision for each case i mean your entire goal is to get to the truth of every single situation you have these very good interrogation scenes where you really have to pay attention you can't glance away do something else pick up your phone you genuinely have to sit there and pay attention if you want to be successful or do as good as you possibly can i mean you have the ability to literally open up a suspect or if you're assuming wrong they might offer even less i think the game kind of has this acquired taste it's something like the more you play it and the more you get into it the more you kind of understand it and start to respect it and enjoy it this is like light a candle and sit in the living room on the big screen surround sound get some snacks and you just chill out and you enjoy the game i don't want to keep talking though because i'm gonna just go into an endless loophole where i just get nowhere hopefully you guys did enjoy the video though and i will see you guys in the next one